Still bloody hammering down. Oh, you can't see that, but it's still raining quite hard, and we just had a pretty awesome thunder and lightning storm. I had to get up and unplug all of the bloody electronic stuff because I thought they were going to blow up. The lightning was really close, very close. There's a flash of lightning and then the thunder straight after. Its poor little shunny was crapping his dax. Sunny. So, so, so here we are, another, I was going to say magnificent day in Ross, but it's definitely not magnificent. Here, let me have a seat so I can get down to, down to eye level. There we go, that's much nicer. So I've got this new camera, new camera is awesome. Yes, get out of it dog, dogs keep banging my tripods there. And I was thinking about starting a vlog. I guess what I've been doing is a kind of vlog, stop barking, you're not going inside. It's actually pretty cold outside. I've started to get cold already. Why isn't that focusing? Focus, I'm over here. There we go. Oi, stop barking. Sit down. Be good. Get out of it, Poochie. Get out of it, bloody mongrels. Where was I? Vlog. Yeah, so I'm going to start a vlog. I guess what I've been doing is a vlog of sorts. A vlog of sorts. I'm going to introduce you to the town that I live in. Now, I wasn't too sure how to make this video of the town that I live in. So I'm just going to walk around with a video camera and video stuff. I'm going to film stuff. So I call it film camera instead of a video camera? Yes, I'm going to walk around with my film camera, with my camera, and start filming bits and pieces of the town that I live in. Now, today's pretty blustery, pretty windy as it has been for the last couple of days. I've been waiting for it to clear. It doesn't look like it's ever going to clear because it's been blustery and windy and raining for months on end now. Hence the reason there hasn't been much hunting films because we haven't had a chance to go hunting. Poor old Smitty's just been stuck at work and then the weekends he's still working on his house that he's bought. So, bit of luck, this weather's going to clear, we're going to get up in the hills. But until that happens, I'm just going to walk around in blustery old west coast small town and film stuff. Hey Charlie. Hi. What's up? What's that, Mark? Charlie's cut his mullet off. Much to my uh, disdain. He has got a nice haircut now though. Nice. He's going for the for the Hoff look like dad. Uh I tell you what, this office work is driving me nuts. I'm gonna have to get a receptionist. That's what I do first thing in the morning I get up, I'll have coffee, a cup of coffee, and then do a couple of breathing exercises to get that oxygen flying. <laughs> And then I jump straight on a bloody computer. And one of these days I'll get a receptionist. And my receptionist can do all my work for me. <sighs> Maybe you could you will you be my receptionist, Charlie? Okay. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Uh, my dad's come to visit. He misses Oi. We had to give Oi to Dad because Oi chased after the postman and may have nipped the postman uh, once. <laughs> or twice. That's it. Keep holding on, remember? Whoa, dangerous. Keep coming. Keep holding on. 
Oh, careful. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're not holding on. Extreme. Oh, oh. oh mate. You gotta hold on. You almost made it to the bottom. That's why you gotta hold on, eh? Remember Dad said hold on? Yeah. Want a cup of tea? A cup of tea? Yeah. You gonna make me a cup of tea? Yeah. I just had a cup of coffee, but yeah, I'll have a cup of tea. Why not? What kind of tea? The one that you usually have? Yes, please. This one? Yes, please. Nice, that's good. Just like to show you this baby here. It's called Lala Doll and it's from Iceland. Now the Icelandic peoples come up with the idea of getting this Lala Doll to help babies sleep. It actually sounds like a Darth Vader baby. Have a listen. Just turned on the internet and noticed that the old Kiwi Bushman Facebook page has gone over 30,000 likes which is awesome actually it's bloody awesome thanks very much folks for liking my page and for sharing and commenting on my posts and liking the post that's quite important to celebrate this milestone we are going to give away a Svord Kiwi general purpose or Kiwi or purpose knife pretty nice knife it's good for skinning it's good for sticking pigs it's good for carving up tomatoes it's good for cutting butter buttering toast slaying dragons and rescuing princesses in distress yes this very nice orange poly pro handles Ford knife is yours for the taking all you need to do is like comment and share this video and you will go on the draw as well as the knife we have a $50 hunting and fishing voucher and that was sent to me by the people at Penguin Publishing, I believe it's for the Westgate Hunting and Fishing, I don't even know where Westgate is, it's possibly in Auckland, uh, I guess that will coincide with my trip to Auckland, I should have gone to hunting and fishing and spent it, but instead of doing that I am giving it away to one of you folks, so hunting and fishing voucher to the value of $50, it's for a general purpose knife and you also go in the drawer to win one of these box Jack and Charlie, boys of the bush. It's about Jack and Charlie, my two sons, and the stuff me and them get up to. It's got photos and all sorts of lovely things in there. There's stories and pictures and all the rest of it. So go on the draw to win this book. If you'd like to buy yourself a copy, you can buy it direct from us. Just email us, kiwibushgear at gmail.com, and we'll send you a copy of the book out. 40 bucks a pop, I believe it is. Kiwi Bushman 7 disc DVD sets it's just a compilation of a bunch of the videos that I have on my YouTube channel 7 discs of Kiwi Bushman if you know someone that doesn't have the internet or if you want to buy a copy for the batch or whatever you could also win one of these we also have these for sale once again 40 bucks a pop email kiwibushgear at gmail.com to purchase one of these DVDs uh, that's it 30,000 likes awesome my brother-in-law's coming over, he's gold crazy. I ask him, keep asking me if he wants to go hunting. He's like, oh, I've got to go gold pinning every time he comes to the coast. Doesn't want to go hunting and fishing. I want to go get some gold. So we're going to get stuck into that tomorrow. I'll probably bring the camera along too so you follow us in. Check it out. Hopefully we'll strike it, Rich. Hey, Root. We're off to town. Pick up Jack. Jack's at Smitty's house for the night. Playing with Smitty's son, Lucas. Son-in-law, Lucas. And we're also going to go swap this chain. Kristen got me a chain for my, my 066 still and it only had a 20 inch bar. I need a 24 inch chain, not a 20 inch chain. So, and the old D-Max off to town. Just dropping a baby munner off at grandma's. She's just pulled up behind us, actually. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> Leave your car, grandma. Blimmin' act, she's parked behind us. I'm trying to back out, and she's coming in. There we go. Get the old starlet off into the street there. My sister, who lives on the east coast of the South Island, is sending her 
husband, which is Bodie Hill, over here because she needs a break. I think she's got what's known as children. She's feeling a bit haggard. Yes. You other people who have also got children will know this disease I'm talking about. <laughs> Mainly mums. I don't think our dads get it. I think just mums get it. But anyway. Is she going to yell at us? Oh, there she is. Bye. Not really. Yeah, put your seatbelt on there, sunshine. Pizza. Oh mate, does that look good? Yep. I tell you what, it's not every day you come to Greymouth and have to put your sunnies on because it's so bright. It's absolutely cranking out here. And that surf is pounding and so pounding. We're so hard to open my door. We've swapped our chains or chain for a 24 inch and we are about to leave Greymouth and now And now we're going to the warehouse. Charlie's trying to talk me into taking him to the warehouse so he can spend his hard earned four dollars. And I'm trying to say no, you need self-control and show restraint and save it up for something decent like tools or a weapon. And Charlie wants to spend it on what do you want to spend it on, buddy? Fishing stuff. I'm all looking to say fishing stuff. Really? Yes. Wow, I think you can tell by the way his eyebrows are lifting like this. And his eyes are real big that... <laughs> he's not the, being genuine. But yes, to the fishing shop. Oh, he's got intentions to go to the fishing department and then all of a sudden, hey, look at these nerve gun bullets. Hey? Can we go to the fishing shop? I think I heard the mention of possible soft toys in there. Did I hear soft toys? Yeah. I did? I want to go and get those. You said we could, Dad. When did I say that? Did you guys hear me say that? Hey? It was not on camera. Uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't say it on camera. Well, according to this movie we're making right now, only stuff I say on camera counts. Are you enjoying your delicious ginger beer that I brought? Delicious ginger beer. Yes, ginger beer light, Schweppes light. Is it yum? One finger wave. Cheers, Sutherland's glass. Good on you, mate. Actually, I got the whole hand out there on the window. I'm not, not sure who that was. I didn't catch the face, but cheer, bro. Good effort. Cheer, our tuna freighters. Another wave. How about Allied Concrete? Oh, very resilient lift of the finger by Allied Concrete. Ends of carriers, nah, not keen. Blim my neck, hey, that was, he wasn't sure. He was like, oh, oh maybe got a half lift off there. And the blue concrete truck. Man. All right, here we go. On to the bridge. Little A, I'll give me five. <laughs> yeah. Well now boys, I think I just saw Bodie cruising along. Yup, we did, our cousins. Um, they're, all, they're probably home by now. Hello, should we go home? Hell yeah! Filling her up. Oh, come on. Off we go. Oh, you get the pizza, Sonny. Is that good? Yeah. Mm. What? Mm. What's going on? So much is going on. That's the problem. <laughs> what's, what's going on with the mustard sauce? Nothing is happening with the mustard sauce. That's the problem. What do you mean? It looks delicious. Look. Well, everybody's shitty and hungry because dinner was supposed to be done and you. It's look. It is done. We've got delicious. Okay, let me introduce dinner to you. We have corned beef. Which I made. Delicious mustard sauce. 
which Josh fucked up and then can't eat it. Ah, uh, we have delicious bok choy from the greenhouse. What I made. You hungry, Sonny? Uh, what else have we got? On, on the oven we have carrots and parsnips, delicious, and mashed potatoes. No, the problem is the problem is it was supposed to be ready an hour ago and I came in with tired, hungry kids and all you done was turn the water off on the potatoes. That's the problem. No, no, I turned the water off. Actually, yeah, I'd love to say that Perry turned the water and the potatoes off. It's not actually deer meat, it's corned beef, which we hardly ever have. No. It's a bit of a novelty corned beef, actually. It's quite actually corned. It's corned beef! I know! Kristen buys it from the supermarket. I've never bought it before. Who bought it? Until now, I bought oh, it. Oh, I see. I see. So I you did buy it from the supermarket. Stop, I'm trying to be shitty and you're putting it down in my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little trick I have when Kristen gets grumpy, I just whip the video camera out and she magically transforms, like just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the end. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Oh shit.